Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Is there more to this business with Crane. You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people, and not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Do you mind if I just... No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons... 
you'd take them off. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you... Oh. What do you want? Well? You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already 
already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Mm. Well, I trust Talk him. about living in the past. He's keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll I know what the electric later. bill is for that thing. I need to talk to Big B. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't! And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slope? Are you gonna get that? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll... What the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people, trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, 